Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the look for you guys. This is another Thanksgiving look. I decided to do two. I did one previously where it was more of a bolder eye and a more toned down nude lip. And I decided to flip it this time, give you guys a bold lip with a more toned down eye. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. I did use the Lip Land lipstick which is in collaboration with Omrezy. I don't know if it's Omrezy or Amrezy but I'm pretty sure it's Omrezy. Anyway, this is the lipstick. I think it's Montenegro. Montenegro that's what it sounds like but I'm going to um, put it in the description box anyway I know she came out with three lipstick liquid lipsticks with them and this is the one that I choose chose to got chose to get it is more so for I feel for my skin tone the other two are a bit more bright and who I, I live in Brooklyn it's cold who's wearing bright lipstick you know right now in this this time of year if I lived in like LA or something it'd be different but I live here so this is what it is but if you have any questions any comments don't forget to leave them in the description but um the comment section below and hit the like button and if you haven't already subscribed get on it that button's right on over there and if you have subscribed thank you so much for tuning in i will see you guys all in my next video and if you'd like to see how i got this look then please continue to watch so first we're going to prime. I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. This is the hydrating primer. I am a bit drier in the winter than I am in any other season, so I definitely want to use a primer that's going to keep my face moisturized. Now I'm going to go in with the Backlight Primer Filter by Becca. You guys know I love this stuff. It is amazing. It definitely does, there definitely is a difference when using it before you apply your foundation. I did do my brows off camera and now I'm going to conceal any dark circles and use my concealer also as a primer before applying my shadows. So I use this all around the eyes. It also does awaken the eyes so if you choose to not use foundation, definitely use this concealer as it does the trick. And just to conceal anything of course that I want to hide. I'm also going to go in with the shadow that's closest to my skin tone and use that to set the shadow on the eye so that when I apply it, it doesn't crease. Now I'm going in with the Cover FX Foundation. And you guys know, it, this is, I mentioned it in my haul. I'm using the Morphe M439 brush to apply that. I am in the color G100. This is an amazing foundation. I raved about it in my last video when I did my haul. It, no words can describe how amazing this foundation is. I actually had a tad bit too much. I could have used a little bit, le uh, little bit less. A little bit does go a long way with this stuff, so remember you do not need a whole lot then i'm going to go in with the face i'm using of course my urban decay naked my urban decay complete coverage weightless concealer and i'm using a beauty blender to blend that out of course i'm applying it to all the places i want to highlight under the eye the nose in between the um, forehead the cupid's bow and of course the chin this stuff you guys know is hands down a fave it's the second bottle that I'm in and I love it. It is amazing, it is wonderful, it blends so nicely, so I can't complain. Now we need to set that. I'm using, of course, the translucent powder from um, Laura Mercier and then to wipe away any excess powder and to set, of course, the rest of the face, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Deep. No, Dark, yes, Dark. Now it's time to bronze. I had to use an oldie but a goodie and definitely one of my faves. It is the Elf's Turks and Caicos bronzer and I'm using a Morphe E3 brush to buff that in. I do like this brush for bronzing. It does deposit the product very nicely, very evenly. And the brush is so soft. These brushes can definitely be compared to the Sephora brushes. So I'm so glad that I'm getting these because they're way more affordable and they do the job just as great as the Sephora brushes. I want to really shape the face. I'm going to go right under that bronzer that we applied and apply a little bit more translucent powder to just further define it and then take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and wipe away any excess powder. And we're ready to start the eyes. So I'm going to use the Zuevo Cocoa Blend Palette. I'm going in with that first shade, which is actually called Bitter Start. And I'm using that as a highlighter with just a small shader brush that I own. And then to do the crease, to apply my transition shade, I'm using the color Substitute for Love. And I'm actually using the Morphe E27 brush. This brush is an amazing brush. It is definitely 
and hand in hand with my Sigma E40 brush. I love how it deposits the eyeshadow onto the eye and I have no complaints so far. Next I'm going to go on with a darker shade of brown. It's called Freshly Toasted. It's actually my favorite color within the palette. It is like this really warm, just gorgeous brown with like a hint of red in it. It kind of does remind me of Coco Blend. Coco Bear by Makeup Geek just a bit, but it, it has its own scent. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this palette. This palette is similar to other things that's out there, but it's different at the same time. I feel like the shimmer shatters have a bit more of shimmer in it and their matte shadows are a bit more matte. It's something that I've never tried before. For the lid, I'm gonna go in with this color called Sweeter End and it is like a goldish, it's not really gold. I don't know how to explain it. In the palette, it looks more of like a taupey color, but when you put it on the eyes, it has like a gold shimmer to it. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I'm applying on the lid. And to blend it out, I'm just taking a regular shader brush with no product on it and just blending out all the edges so that everything blends wonderfully. For mascara, I'm using my Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. This mascara is amazing. I do want the full size one. I got this one when I bought my little uh, holiday set from them from, from Tarte this year. But I want the full version of this mascara because this is an amazing mascara. And if I did not, it, when I do not wear my falsies, I do find myself grabbing for this one more often than any of my other ones. For lashes, I'm using the Grand Glamour Vegas Name Lashes um, in collaboration with Allure. Y'all know these lashes are bae right now. I've been reaching for them like every single time I do my makeup. They're an amazing lash because they're very thick and very full, but I still don't have to wear liner with them if I don't want to, which is what I love about them. Most lashes, if they're thick like that, you have to cover the band and you don't have to cover these. For waterline um, eyeliner, I'm using my Absolute Black Eyeliner. I don't know where they sell this at, if they sell them anywhere but my local beauty supply store. I'm going to check for you guys because a few of you have asked, have asked me about that. And to set the, I guess, set it and smoke it out just a little bit, I'm using that freshly toasted brown from the Coco Blend palette with a small pencil brush. And I'm just like smudging it out a little bit. For the bottom lash lines, I'm using that MAC Extended Giga Play Long Name Mascara, which I will leave in the description box below. It is great for your lower lashes, and they really make them full. I'm using Kiko Blush. This is in the color Soft Touch. You guys know at one point I was using this like every day. I'm back on it, yeah. And I'm using the Angle Brush from e.l.f. I'm using the number E4 to apply that and for my highlight I am using my Bobbi Brown this is in the color bronze glow and I'm using the Morphe M501 um, highlighting brush to do that and I'm just of course applying my highlight all the places that I want to duh highlight and I love this brush too this this really deposits it exactly where you want it and it really makes it look gorgeous gonna set the face of course with my fix plus and then we're gonna go on to the final part which is the lips first I'm gonna use my Mac lip liner in the color night moth you guys know this is a must-have lip liner for this time of the year I love this lip liner it is hands down one of my faves so I'm going to apply that and then smudge it into the lips a bit and then I'm gonna go in with the lip land omrezy liquid lipstick um, in the color I believe it's Montenegro it is gorgeous it, it's not as drying as most liquid lipsticks but it's still it's still very matte but it doesn't dry out your lips so that is definitely a plus for Omrezy and liquid land but this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe I will see you guys all in my next video bye guys